Kaya ano yung uh, manalangin ako muli. Paru kata doon ay lohin nila kaolam. At siya pwede siya nababis po tabit si Banula Sot de Libre. So, uh, blessed are you, Hashem, our God, King of the Universe, who has made us holy through His commandments and commanded us to enrich ourselves in the words of your Torah. As King David prayed it so beautifully, Father, in, in Psalms 119 and verse 18, may I, may I repeat the prayers, the prayer of the king, the former king of Israel, David HaMelech. May you open our eyes, open thou our eyes, that we may behold wonders of your Torah. Give us the understanding, O Lord, that we may see the wonderful face of our King Mashiach, Sidkenu, the Messiah, our righteousness, Yeshua, Hanotsri. I pray that you will give us the understanding, Abba, that you may just enable us, not just to see, but to feel. Father, your appointed times, may the Ruach Chodesh, the Holy Spirit, lead us. Father, in the way that we can also lead others, and those others may lead others. And all of us may be prepared for the glorious return of our Lord and Savior. I ask this in his holy name. Amen. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. Sabawat is a minsan pa. Today is the, is the 26th of Tishrei, the seventh month of the Jewish uh, calendar. We are now in the Jewish uh, year 5782. And also take note, sinasabi na this is the Shemitah year. Shemitah means uh, the seventh year of the seven Shemitah cycle. Always remember that. It will always be very, very, very important, the Shemitah cycle. Seven years yan, na yung ika seventh year, that's the Shemitah year. The, the year of Shabbat, of the land, Shemitah means in English a release, to be released from debt, released from bondage, yung mga, yung mga nagpapaalipin dahil, dahil may pagkakautang. And this is the year na, na nire-release. Inuutos ito, this is a mitzvah, a commandment from, from Hashem. Napakabigat na commandment na ito. At yung mga tao rin, spiritual reality na pag still in bondage, may struggle sa, sa, sa personal life. This is the year na kung saan ay may added bonus uh, grace and loving kindness and tender mercy si Hashem na nire-release niya from such bondage and struggles sa works of the flesh, you know, yung mga ganon. And also for our information, etong Shabbat na ito ay start of the parashat Breshit. Gaya ng sinabi ko sa inyo, I will be late in my in my uh, in my uh, teaching plan because today I must be starting also uh, within the Hebrew Torah class the study natin ng, ng parashat Breshit. Parashat means portion of scripture, the first portion of the first sefer, the book of Genesis, which is Breshit. Tata lakayin yan, pero I feel in my heart na ito ang gusto ni Hashem na, na ating uh, pagpistahan. Such of great magnitude and importance. The next month, by the way, the next month of Tishrei, this is the month of Tishrei, okay? Tish, Tishrei ngayon, ngayong buwan na ito. Kaya katatapos na natin ng sukot, nangyayari yan on the 15th of Tishrei. Pitong araw yan, so tapos na yan. Now, the next month, the next month will be the next year, it, which will be the next new year, and that next new year will be 5783. 5783, that is equivalent to 2022 in the Gregorian pagan calendar. So uh, 5783 will start Another seventh Shemitah cycle, which will end the seven Shemitah cycles 
for a total of 49 years. So seven years times seven equivalent to 49 years plus one year will be the Yovel or the Jubilee year. So ito na. What is the what is the the importance behind which may end the year 5999 and then will usher in the Messiah's millennial year and reign in Jerusalem or Jerusalem. I hope I nakukuha natin nonetheless ito ay recorded kaya yung mga hindi makaka-attend magkakaroon sila ng chance na ito ay mapanood nila at mapakinggan nila uh, in the in the privacy of their own confined uh, places at pwede itong maulit-ulit because of what we have already been doing in the bini video natin ito so i would like to start with this Kung makikita ninyo itong mga arrows na red na ito, ito yung tinatawag na Rosh Hashanah, the start of the new year. Okay? New year. Kaya from 2015 to 2016, from the Jewish calendar that is 5776, hanggang sa 2021, ayun, ito yung makikita ninyo itong arrow na ito, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six. Okay, now we are now in the Shemitah year. Ito tayo ngayon. 57, 82. Nakikita nyo ba yan? Ayan. So, this is the Shemitah year. Ayan yan. At ito ay mahaba sana pero kakapusin yung, uh, yung aking, uh, yung aking, uh, yung aking uh, slide o ang dami-daming gagawin kaya, kaya senior cut ko na dito. Dito na siya sa susunod, 2022 to 2023. So next, next uh, Rosh Hashanah, which will be next year, sa Tishrei, it will be 2022, papasok na ang another pagbagong uh, Shemitah cycle. Always remember this, uh, ito ang food for thought. Kung may anumang plano si Hashem, parating hindi siya magbabago ng kanyang plano, parati siyang sumusunod sa kanyang sariling uh, appointed times and season. Ibig sabihin yan, pag natapos na yung 7 Shemitah cycle, pag natapos na yun, magsisimula na naman yung another, another beginning of the Shemitah cycle. I hope that will sink in as we review and review. I believe na this is purely Jewish teaching, Jewish mindset. Walang Gentile ito. Okay, so let me continue. Kung meron kang katanungan, just be patient. I assure you, matatalakay ito lahat-lahat sa, sa teaching sa ito. So what is so important? So important I during this this uh the last the last uh, years of the Shemitah cycle at 2015 hanggang 2021 dito mapupunta din yon mag, nagkaroon magkakaroon ng four blood moon four blood moon nangyari yan nung uh, si 15 that was May 26 at mangyayari yan ngayong November 19 sa Tishle 15 at mayroon pang mangyayari sa May 16 which is ER 15 and also dito sa 2022 sa Cheshvan 15 which is November 8. Okay. Kung maaalala ninyo, kung maaalala ninyo, ewan ko kung naaalala ninyo na noong 2014 and 2015 nagkaroon ng four blood moons. Four blood moons. Hindi parating nangyayari yan. It is seldom nangyayari yan. And mind you, may halaga kung bakit 
pinangyari ni Hashem ang four consecutive blood moons. 2014 and 2015 nagkaroon ng four blood moon. Tapos dito sa pagtatapos na naman ng Shemitah cycle at pagpasok ng panibagong pasimula ng Shemitah cycle, meron na naman oh, four blood moon. Take note of that. Very, very important to understand. Be patient with me. Now, maybe, pag tinignan mo yan, uh, God's plan is according to the, to the days, and after the days, the weeks, and then after the weeks, the month, and then after the month, the years. Yan ang purpose ng creation ng Panginoon Governed by the days. Pag sinabing days, hindi yung 24-hour days. Okay? That's Gentile. Hindi 24-hour days. Merong tinatawag na the day of the Lord. Okay? Hindi yung, yung pagdating ng Panginoon na tinuturo ng iba, may their hearts be blessed, but it is not correct. The day of the Lord speaks of a time frame. It speaks of a time frame, not just 24-hour day. Jewish ito. This is Tanakh. This is Torah. This is full 100% truth. When you speak of weeks, weeks, mga linggo, it refers to the Shabbat. Okay? The, the weeks, the Shabbat. The month, pag sinabing month, it refers to the Moedim. Moedim, ito yung mga holy appointed feast of Hashem. Pag sinabing years, ito yung Shmita years o kaya yung Jubilee years. Okay? Okay, uh, naka-record dyan. So, uh, wag mong pilitin maunawaan. Uh, you will just uh, have the chance to to uh, listen and watch the video recorded teaching uh, in your in your uh, private time. So here, pag tinanong natin, uh, where are we now? What time is it? What time is it? Anong, anong, ano na ba tayo ngayon? Anong oras na ba natin ngayon? No, I'm not referring to Sabado rito sa Pilipinas, 9:25 o 8 o'clock sa Missouri nila nila Brother Aris o 6 o'clock ng gabi sa Sacramento nila Brother Manny. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is what is the time na kung saan ay plano ni Hashem sa panahon natin ngayon. Now, the Bible speaks of the Daniel's prophecy the 70 weeks 70 weeks means 70 times 7. Kaya yung week 7 yan. Kaya 70 times 7 is equal to 490 years. Also, parang gear yan eh. Parang nakagranahe yan. Umaandar yung, yung relos ni Hashem na it speaks of the Shemitah cycle. The Shemitah cycle are the 7 years cycle. Okay? Tapos 7 times 7 comes the 49 plus 1 year. That is the year of Jubilee, which is the 50th year, or sa Hebrew ay yung Yovel. Okay? Are you there? Are you there with me? I hope you will just follow very carefully. So, in the yes. year of God's watch, sa granahin ng relos ni Hashem, He is governing His, his, uh, his plan, His time, yung relos niya, dito sa Shabbat, sa so new moon, pag sinabing new moon, it speaks of the Rosh Chodesh, yung bawat umpisa ng buwan ng Jewish calendar. Okay, which also, which always starts with the month of Nisan. Now we are in the month of Tishrei. Okay, so ang tawag dyan ay new moons. At ito ay naka-engage sa gear ng Moedim. Moedim, ang ibig sabihin ng Moedim ay the holy appointed feasts of Adonai. At itong Moedim na ito, naka-engage naman doon sa gear ng mga festivals. Yung, uh, yung festivals na, na nabanggit ko kanina, yung Pesach, yung uh, Shavuot. Pesach is the Passover, Shavuot is the Pentecost, and uh, Scott etong sukot na katatapos lang at pagkatapos ay umiikot yan yearly. That is the time na kung saan binibase ni Hashem ang kanyang plano. 
All right. Now let's 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 uh, move on. Ito yan sa yearly. It's about the Moedim, the Holy Appointed Feast, the Shemitah, the Jubilee, which is the 50th year. Again, my question is, where are we now? Ngayon, where are we now? What time is it? That's the most important thing, Suguro. Suguro sa bina mga iba. Eh, Rav, eh, no man knows, di ba sabi ni Yeshua, no man knows the hour, the time of the coming of Mashiach. That is very true. Not even him, sabi niya, it's only the Father who knows the time and the hour of the return of our Lord. Tama yan, walang problema tayo dyan. And we are not setting dates here. We are just studying from scripture according to the appointed times of Hashem kung nasaan na tayo ngayon. Para sa ganoon, malalaman natin kung nasaan na tayo ngayon at makakatulong sa atin na magre-reset ng ating sarili, i-re-prioritize ang ating mga plano at pagkatapos magkakaroon tayo ng deep awareness kung anong nasaan na tayo ngayon, anong oras na ngayon at pagkatapos ng awareness will come the preparation. Meron na tayong preparation kung ano ang nararapat natin palang dapat pagandaan. Ah, okay. So it brings to the to the point of God's appointed times. God's appointed times. Take note in First Thessalonians chapter five, one to five from the Tree of Life version. I quote: Now concerning the times and the seasons, brothers and sisters, makikita natin to, no? Now concerning the times. Okay, the times here. The, the Hebrew word is zimanim, zimanim, ziman, time, ziman, and season. When when I say when when uh, the Bible talks of times, hindi ito yung yung uh, 24 hour or 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 what kind of time na binibigay sa atin ng relos. No, it speaks of the plan of God. Etong season, it doesn't it doesn't mean winter, spring, summer, or fall. No, 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 no. Definitely not. Ang season ay sa Hebrew ay moadim. Moadim, the holy appointed feasts of Adonai. Concerning the, the time of, of, of Hashem and the holy appointed feast of Hashem, brothers and sisters, you have no need for anything to be written to you. In other words, sinasabi ni Paul, dapat alam nyo na ito, wala na kayong problema dito. For you yourselves know very well that the day of the Lord comes like a thief in the night. Itong day of the Lord comes like a thief in the night, hindi ibig sabihin ito yung isang araw na 24-7, the day of the Lord, na bigla na lang darating na kung saan ay, ay yung mga eschatological theology about the rapture. That is not that is not accurate, and it is quite uh, an error, if I may say, because the day of the Lord, this word NATO, the day of the Lord, it speaks of a time frame, a time frame, whether it may be seven years or it will, it may be three and a half years. That is the day of the Lord. It. Uh, sabi niya, you know very well that the day of the Lord comes like a thief in the night. Ibig sabihin yung thief, yung ganef. Ganef, minsan yung magdanakaw, mabilis yan, di ba? Nanakaw yan, mabilis. Hindi na nagbibigay ng, uh, ano yan, ng notice yan. Nana, magdanakaw nga siya. The day of the Lord is something like that. But let me let me continue. And sabi niya, when they say, when they are saying shalom and safety, sudden destruction comes upon them, like a woman having birth, having birth pains in the womb. There is now, there is now no way. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Now, no, yun. Pagmamadali, sorry. Now there is no way they will escape. 
So these are, are referring to the people of the world. These are referring to the Gentile unbelievers, even, even the, the Jewish unbelievers, na ang kanilang focus ay sa materialism, worldliness, physicality. Sasabihin nila, oh, peace and safety. Pero akala nila kasi ay yung nagpa-promise sa kanila ay talaga naman magbibigay ng peace or shalom and safety, which is uh, the, the beast or the antichrist na malapit na siyang magpakilala sa world stage. Pero sudden destruction comes upon them like a woman having, having birth having birth pains in the womb, there is now no way they will escape. But you, ang sabi rito, but you, referring to the, to the Messianic believers, you, brothers and sisters, are not in the dark so that the day might overtake you like a thief. You are not in the dark. You are in the day for you are sons of light and sons of day. Notice, importante yan. Are we really sons of light and sons of day? Let us be sure of ourselves. Kaya nga importante ang mensaheng ito. Na we are not of night or of darkness. So that, that uh, First Thessalonians 5, 1 to 5, na sinulat ni Rabbi Shaul, a.k.a. Apostle Paul, guess saan niya ito kinuha? Saan niya ito kinuha? Dahil sila, mind you, take note, sila Apostle Paul, Apostle Peter, Apostle John, Apostle Matthew, Apostle Luke, Apostles, all the Apostles sila, sila Yehuda, sila Yaakov, lahat ito, hindi ito nagsusulat o nagsasalita na nanggaling lang sa kanila. No. Parati silang nagsusulat at nagsasalita dahil meron silang sure at matibay na reference. Hindi dahil sa nanaginip sila nung gabi at nangusap ang Panginoon, nangusap ang angel, hindi po yon Hindi kagaya ng maraming mga sinasabing nangusap sa akin ang Panginoon at ito ang sabi. Hindi ganun yan. Sila Apostle Paul, Apostle John, Apostle Peter, and all the apostles uh, na, na sumulat at uh, ginamit ng ating Panginoong Yeshua ay nagbe-base sila sa Torah at saka sa Tanakh. Remember that. Dahil ang sabi ng Torah, kahit na sinong tao na nagsabing ito ang sabi ko, that says the Lord, pero hindi ko naman sinasabi wala naman akong pinasasabi, ito ay isang Navi Shaker. Navi Shaker means false prophet. At ang gagawin ninyo, kukunin nyo ang taong ito at babatuhin mo sila kasi hanggang sa siya ay mamatay. Because he has blasphemed my name, he has used my name in vain at diniligaw niya ang aking bayan sa direksyon na sabi ko daw pero hindi ko naman sinasabi. So what I am saying is napaka-aware ang mga apostle Paul, Peter, John na hindi sila maging false prophets, hindi sila maging false apostles, hindi sila maging false teachers. So lahat ito ay kukunin nila sa saan? Saan nila kukunin? Sa Torah. At ito ay kinuha ni Paul sa Bereshit chapter 1 verse 14. And I quote, And God said, Let there be luminaries or lights in the expanse of the heavens to separate between to separate between the day and between the night. And they shall be for signs. Look at this. Itong two lights speaks of the greater light and the lesser light. The greater light is the sun, the lesser light is the moon. Ang trabaho nito ay hindi lamang para magbigay ng init sa lupa o magbigay ng liwanag sa dilim. Hindi lang yon. Ang trabaho nito, itong sun and moon, ay they, and they shall be for signs and for 
appointed seasons and for days and years. Ang trabaho nito na ginawa ni Hashem, ni Adonai, itong sun and moon, hindi para magbigay lamang ng liwanag at init sa buong uh, earth o buong mundo, kundi they are there to be signs and for appointed seasons and for days and years. So yun. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 8, it says, Moreover, my dear friends, do not ignore this. With the Lord, one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years like one day. Tingnan mo to, ha? Itong one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years like one day. In Psalms, dun yung, ito yung sinabi ni Kefa, ni Peter, ni Peter, chapter 3, verse 8, kinuha niya ito sa Tanakh. Saan sa Tanakh? Kinuha niya sa Psalms 90, verse 4. Hindi ito revelation. Hindi ito bagong revelation. That's what I have been pounding. Hindi, ito yung malayo sa mga Gentile theologians na nagpunta roon sa forest, nagpunta sa bundok, nagpray and fast at namusap ang Panginoon, nagturo ng bagong theology. Ang pangalan ng theological doctrine ay rapture. Or one save, always save. It is not like that, my friends. I do not want to sound condescending. I do not want to sound insulting. But allow me to teach without breaks kasi importante maintindihan natin itong Torah and Tanakh. Ito ay parating may reference doon sa Tanakh. And where is that? Psalm 90 verse 4. For a thousand years in your sight are like a day just passing by or like a watch in the night. Let's move on. In Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1, for everything there is a season and a time for every activity under heaven. Everything, lahat daw ng mga aganapan, and there for everything, there is a season. Ito na naman, Moedim. Moedim, the appointed feast of Adonai. And a time for every activity under heaven. Before I continue, may I ask you, for everything there is a season, and a time for every activity under heaven. My question is, yung bang pagpanganak ng Panginoong Yeshua, ito ba ay meron din season? Meron bang time? At nung pagkamatay ng ating Panginoong Yeshua, meron bang season at meron bang time? The answer is absolutely yes. Yung kapanganakan ng ating Panginoong Yeshua, ito ay nangyari during the Feast of Sukkot or Tabernacles. And the Word became flesh and He tabernacled among us. Kailan yung Feast of Sukkot or Tabernacles? It happened last September uh, 15 or ano ba yan? Nakalimutan ko na. The last few days ago. So yan yung kapanganakan ng ating Panginoon na kung saan na siya ay pinanganak sa isang suka. Suka means a manger, manger, sabsaban, a temporary shelter for animals. Okay? Yan niya, kaya didala siya dun sa manger na kung saan ay doon naninirahan yung mga hayop. Doon siya ipinanganak ni Miriam, a.k.a. Mary. So kung, kung siya ay ipinanganak during a season, ibig sabihin kaya nung mamatay din siya, it is also under an appointed time? Ano ang sagot ninyo? The answer is absolutely yes. Namatay ang ating Panginoon during the Feast of Pesach, which is Passover. Passover. He became the Passover sacrificial lamb of God, hindi ba? And he died. He died during the time of Pesach. So, 
kung ang kapanganakan ng Panginoon at ang kamatayan ng Panginoon ay nakaset sa season, appointed feast of Adonai, get hold of this. Get hold of this. Yung bang pagbabalik ng Panginoon ay nasa season din? The answer is absolutely yes, yes, yes. At ang pagbabalik ng ating Panginoon ay under a season then. Be patient, pupunta tayo dyan. In Isaiah chapter 66, verses 22 and 23, For just as the new heavens and the new earth, which I will make, will endure before me, it is a declaration of Adonai, so your descendants and your name will endure. It will come to pass that from one new moon, look at this, from one new moon, new moon means Rosh Chodesh. Rosh Chodesh, new moon, referring to every start of the month. Every start of the month. Halimbawa, yung uh, Tishrei, the seventh month. Ang tawag doon, Rosh Chodesh or new moon, kaya tayo nagkaroon ng Rosh Hashanah, the new year. New moon to another. Ibig sabihin from new moon to new moon and from one Shabbat to another. So makikita natin it's from one Shabbat to another Shabbat to another Shabbat to another Shabbat to another Shabbat. Walang Sunday. It's all Shabbat to another Shabbat. This is Isaiah 66, 22 and 23. Ito yung pagdadating ng new heavens And the new earth patuloy pa rin ang observance ng new moon to another and from another from one Shabbat to another, all flesh will come to bow down before me, says Adonai. Take a look at that. Napaka-importante niyan. So in Psalms 104 verse 19, and I quote, He made the moon, look at this, God made the moon for appointed times. The sun knows it's going down. What does this mean? Ang ibig sabihin nito, the moon. The moon. Nangungusap yan sa bawat tao, lalo na. Listen to this. I will give you a statement. You can only have a total lunar eclipse. Yung lunar eclipse ay yung moon, di ba? Na naging, naging red. A full moon. Sabi niya, you can only have a total lunar eclipse when there is a full moon. You can only have a total solar eclipse. Solar, sun. Solar eclipse on a new moon. Kapag nagkaroon ng new moon, saka magkakaroon ng total solar eclipse. This is science. This is math. This is not even religious or spiritual. This is very science. Okay? So, very important. He made the moon for appointed times. Referring to the, the, to the lunar eclipse. Yan. And the sun knows it's going down. In other words, the moon na nagbibigay ng lunar eclipse, ito ay sign and warning for Israel. And the sun, kapag nagkakaroon ng solar eclipse, it is a warning to the world, to the nations of the world. These are the nations, not Israel. Okay? Very important statement yan. So now, let me just go back. Ito tayo sa 2021. These, meron niyang magkakaroon ng four blood moon. For blood moon, na kung saan galing na tayo dun sa last Smita cycle, the last seven years Smita cycle, sa four blood moon. Ito siya sa kaliwa. Take note. Ang tanong, ito ba ay parating nangyayari? The answer is no. Hindi ito parating nangyayari. Ngayon lang ito nagdikit-dikit para siyang chain. Nagdikit siya 
sa pamamagitan ng four blood moons sa susunod na Shemita cycle. Okay? So let me let me just uh, move forward. Sa so Psalms 81 verses 3 and 4 and I quote, blow the shofar at the new moon. Blow the shofar at the new moon at the full moon for the day of our festival. Tingnan mo ha, may new moon at saka mayroong full moon. So, during those festival, the appointed days of the of the Lord, parating naka-engage yung sign sa heaven and these are the moon and the sun. Always remember that. For the day of our festival, for it is a decree for Israel an ordinance of the God of Jacob or Yaakov. May I continue? Psalm 89, verses 36 to 38. Once for all I have sworn by my holiness, surely I will not lie to David. His descendants will endure forever and his throne as the sun before me and as the moon Established forever and a trustworthy witness in the sky. Say la. Take note of that. In Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 9, it says, What has been is what will be, and what has been done is what will be done, and there is nothing new. Under the sun. What has been is what will be. Kung ano yung nangyari ay mangyayari ulit. What has been done, kung ano yung nagawa, is will be done. Will be done. Yung ginawa ay gagawin ulit sapagkat walang bago sa ilalim ng araw. So what does that mean? Ang ibig sabihin yan, God's plan is in a circular cycle movement. Circular. Ang plano ng Diyos. It is a circular cycle movement. The aim called ta, uh, Chadash Tachat Hashemesh. There is nothing new under the sun. Nothing new. Yung nangyari noon ay mangyayari ngayon yung ginawa noon ay gagawin ngayon walang pagbabago sa ilalim ng araw. Let me continue. In Shemot chapter 12 verses 2 and 3 that is Exodus chapter 12 verses 2 and 3 the Bible says this month will mark the beginning of the months of the year to you tell all the congregation of Israel that on the 10th day of this month, each man is to take a lamb for his family, one lamb for the household. Kung tatanungin ko kayo, anong buwan ang pinatutungkol ni Hashem sa, it, sa verse na ito? This month. Ano yung this month na ito? This month will mark the beginning of the months of the year. What is the, the, the first month that will mark the beginning of the months sa isang taon? What is your answer? The answer is the month of Nisan. Nisan. Yung buwan na yun na kung saan ay, ay uh, lumabas ang children of Israel doon sa Mitzrayim, a.k.a. Egypt, Okay, in the month of Nisan. Very, very important to understand. On the 10th day of Nisan, ay kukuha ang bawat pamilya ng tupa o ng kambing. And on the 14th day, kakatayin yun. On, 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 the, e, on the midnight of the 14th day, ay pag kinata yun, ilalagay yung dugo doon sa mga hamba ng uh, pintuan at yon ay iro-roast sila at kakainin nila yon 
ng pagmamadali the following day, alis na sila. Alis na sila sa, sa Mitzrayim o sa Egypt. Very, very important to understand. Now, <clears throat> alam ba ninyo, sa susunod na slide na ito, this is very important, na there is a time frame of the 10 plagues that happened in Egypt. Itong sampung plagues na ito na nangyari sa Mitzrayim or Egypt ay nangyari sa loob ng limang linggo. Five weeks. Five weeks. Itong, itong the seventh of Adar, the month of Adar, is the birthday of Moses. And the seventh of Adar is also the day Moses died. Okay? Pagdating ng nang susunod na, na araw ng Adar, Adar 8, Adar 9, Adar 10, Adar 11, Adar 12, Adar 13, Adar 14, dito nagkaroon ng blood in the River Nile. Alright? Nagdugo ang ilog ng Nile o ng, ng Nilo. On the 15th of Adar and the 16th of Adar, nagkaroon ng frogs. Yung, flag, yung, yung plague ng frogs. At pagkatapos, sinundan ito ng mga susunod ng mga flies, ng mga iba't ibang uri ng, uh, ng uh, plagues na matay ang mga baka, nagkaroon ng mga boils. On the 24th of, of Adar, dumating yung boils. At pagkatapos, pagkatapos niyan ay dumating na naman yung mga, yung mga kuto, yung lies. Dumating yung locos on the 28th of Adar. At look at this very carefully, my friends. Nang dumating itong thick darkness sa Mitzrayim, it happened on the first of Nisan. Three days complete darkness. Nangyari yan on Nisan 1, Nisan 2, Nisan 3. Thick total darkness na walang makikita o nakikita ang mga Egyptians. Pero ang mga Jewish people, the children of Israel, ay meron silang night vision. Meron silang, meron silang uh, uh, capacity to, to see what is inside the, those thick darkness. Kaya nakapagkuha sila ng mga yaman ng mga Egyptians. Kaya during the days ahead, ay sila ay nagkamal ng maraming spoils na kung saan pag pinagkaloob sa kanila ng mga Egyptians dahil sa matinding stress, depression, trauma, at ng full panic binigay sa kanila. So on the 10th of Nisan, kumuha na sila ng lamb o ng goat. On the 14th of Nisan, they killed, they slaughtered the goat or the 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 lamb and place the blood doon sa doorpost sa hamba at pagkatapos ang susunod doon the death of the firstborn of the Egyptians both humans and animals and the next on the 15th of Nisan 16 they left Egypt they left Egypt okay ibig sabihin yan what has been is what will be and what has been done is what will be done. And there is nothing new under the sun. Ang ibig sabihin, we ain't called Chadash Takhat Hashemesh. Ibig sabihin yung nangyari noon will happen again. Umiikot lang yan on a greater scale. Take, take note of this. <clears throat> In Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 1 and 2, Deuteronomy is the book of revelation of the Torah. Again, the book of Deuteronomy is the book of revelation of the Torah. Okay? In chapter 30, verses 1 and 2, it says, And when all these things come upon you, the blessing and the curse, which I have set before you, and you call them to mind among all the nations where the Lord your God has driven you and return to the Lord your God, you and your children, and obey his voice in all that I command 
you today with all your heart and with all your soul. Listen to verse 3. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 3. Then the Lord your God will restore your fortunes and have mercy on you, and he will gather you again from all the peoples where the Lord your God has scattered you. I repeat, and he will gather you again from all the peoples, from all the nations, ibig sabihin, where the Lord your God has gathered you. Alam nyo ba na itong verse na ito, itong Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 3, ay pang 5,708 verse ng Torah. Itong Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 3, this is the 5,708 verse of the Torah. And this 5708 is also 1948 sa Gregorian calendar. It is 1948. E ano ba yung meron sa 1948? The Jewish people return to their own homeland, Israel. At ito ay binigyan ng pangalan, the nation of Israel. Kailan nangyari yan? 1948. Nakatapat yan sa 5708 na eksakto na 5708th verse of the Torah. Is it a coincidence? Or is it design? That is the question. It looks designed to me. Now let's move on. In Psalm 90 verse 10, Psalm 90 verse 10, the years of our lives, the years of our lives are 70 or even by reason of strength 80. Yet their span is but toil and trouble. They are soon gone and we fly away. They are soon gone and they will fly away. If we are going to add 1948, 1949, kasi nangyari ang independence of Israel somewhere 1947, 1948, hanggang 1949 under, under the leader na si Ben Gurion. Now, as sabi ng scripture sa Psalm 90 verse 10, a span of life ng tao ay 70 or by reason of strength ay 80. So let's take the, the number 80. If we are going to add 1948, 1949 plus 80, it will equal to 2028 or 2029. What time are we now? What year are we now? Take a look at this. <clears throat> sa US, kaya ako nagtatanong sa isang kapatiran few days ago as I was studying and listening to, to many uh, Messianic rabbis also dito sa US, sa Illinois, Chicago, Illinois, Springfield, St. Louis, Carbondale, Alam mo, meron silang place, ang tawag nila, Little Egypt. Little Egypt! <clears throat> Little Egypt! The, the, sa Little Egypt may Cairo, sa taas may Goshen. I repeat, sa taas may Goshen, sa baba may Cairo. Ang tawag nila ay Little Egypt. Is it a coincidence? There's no coincidence under God's, God's plan. Dito sa, sa Illinois, St. Louis, dito sa Carbondale, na meron place ang tawag ay Little Egypt, dito ay merong school or college, ang tawag ng school nila ay Southeastern Illinois College. Southeastern Illinois College. Alam nyo ba, 
kung ano ang mark, alam nyo ba kung ano ang tatak ng college na ito? Ang tatak ng college na ito ay the falcons. May pyramid at may falcons. Southeastern Illinois College. Now, if you are going to study further, ang sabi ng Southeastern Illinois College, ang sabi niya, in year 1960, when Southeastern Illinois College was formed, a Sphinx was included. Sphinx, ha? Huh? Was included in the official seal of the college to honor the Little Egypt heritage shared by the people of the college district. A few years later, when a logo was created for Southeastern, it incorporated yet another Egyptian symbol, <clears throat> the pyramid. Southeastern's competitive teams have always had the Falcons, the Falcons, this one, the Falcons, as their mascot. In Egypt, the king was taught as a living god while alive, while alive, he was Horus, the falcon-headed sky god, sitting on a magic Isis throne. When he died, he became Osiris, god of the underworld, and his heir became Horus. This is, this is the picture of the Egyptian god. At ito yung symbol ng throne, ng Egyptian throne. And it is found here in Little Egypt na merong college na kung saan ang kanilang, ang kanilang mark ay falcons na merong Egyptian god. At dito sa lugar na ito, Dito sa lugar na ito, August 21, 2017, nagkaroon ng solar eclipse. 2017, nagkaroon ng solar eclipse. On April 8, 2024, 2024, magkakaroon ulit after seven years apart, magkakaroon ulit ng total solar eclipse. Alam niyo ba kung anong buwan sa Jewish calendar nagkaroon ng total solar eclipse? It happened on Nisan 1. Nangyari yan nangyari yan dito sa buwan ng Nisan. Nisan one accident coincidence or god's design it must be god's design god is speaking to the world 2024 2021 tayo 2022 next year pagpasok ng another 7 years meta cycle magsisimula tayo sa 2022 to 2023 2024, magkakaroon ulit sa Nisan, Nisan 2024, ng complete solar eclipse doon mismo sa Little Egypt, doon sa lugar. Ewan ko nga, tinatanong ko si Brother Aris kung malapit sila dahil may St. Louis ako nababasa. But I, I, I doubt mukhang malayo sila. But what am I saying? What I am saying is very shocking. Very shocking! Kasi sa 2024, ito mangyayari. And God speaks to the nations of the world by means of the sun. God speak to the nation of Israel by means of the moon. Your lunar eclipse warning for Israel. Solar eclipse warning for the nations of the world. Ano kaya ang meron sa 2024? Babalikan ko ngayon ito. Dito ngayon tayo. Balik na tayo dun sa, sa new start of the another new Smita cycle. 
another 2024, eto yan, magkakaroon dito ng solar eclipse, magkakaroon ng mga raming kababalaghan dito. Let me just show it to you by, by the PowerPoint presentation. There you go. There you go. 2024. Ayun. 2024. Look at this. Total solar eclipse Nissan 1. Tapos magkakaroon ng total solar eclipse Rio Sashana. Tapos magkakaroon ng ng ng, uh, ng lunar eclipse Nissan 1. Magkakaroon ng lunar eclipse Elul 15 Purim. Magkakaroon ng ng sol ng lunar eclipse Elul 15 lunar eclipse Purim lunar eclipse Rosh Hashanah lunar eclipse. So what's what is the point? The point is this. The point is this. Etong 2024-25, this may be the last three and a half years before the return of King Messiah Yeshua. So from now, Meron pang 2022, 23, pagdating ng 24, may start the Great Tribulation period. Rav, you may ask me, hindi po ba yung Tribulation period ay seven years? Tama kayo. Pero hindi ko naman sinabing Tribulation period. Eh. Ang sabi ko, the Great Tribulation period. Ibig sabihin, the seven years will start 2023, it will finish to 2029. That is the great, that is the tribulation period, the seven year tribulation period. But the great tribulation period may start on 2024, 2025 because, because Deuteronomy 32, 31 says so are you still there are you still amen. there amen amen i would like to amen. show you this i sorry 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 no wala ako sorry ang dali lang papalakihin ko sana eh sorry i'll, I'll make it fast make it fast Kuminga muna kayo ng malalim There There From the Yom Kippur War yung Yom Kippur War nagsimula yan noong 1973 and the start of A Shmita cycle. One, Yom Kippur War, 1973. First Shmita cycle, 1980 to 1987. Second Shmita cycle, 1987 to 1994. The third Shmita cycle, 1994 to year 2001. The fourth Shmita. 201 up to 208 the fifth shmita and 208 to 215 the sixth shmita the seventh shmita cycle the seventh shmita cycle is 2022 up to 2029 2029 Anong taon tayo ngayon? 2021. Kapasok dahil sa 
This is the seventh Shmita cycle. Ikapitong Shmita cycle. At ang ikapito ay ang 2029. 20, In Genesis chapter 15, God said to Avram, and he said to Avram, you shall surely know that your seed will be strangers in a land that is not theirs. And they will enslave them and oppress them for 400 years. That is Genesis chapter 15, verse 13. And sabi di Hashem, your seed will be strangers in the land that is not theirs. And they will be enslaved. They will enslave them and oppress them for 400 years. Ang tanong ko sa inyo, kanina pinatutungkol ang scripture na ito. Pwede niyong i-unmute ang inyong, ang inyong uh, gadgets at sagutin nga ninyo yung tanong ko. Because I, I want to be sure if you are catching up. Ano ang ibig sabihin ng scripture na ito? And you shall surely know that your seed will be strangers in the land that is not theirs. Hindi kanila. And they will enslave them and oppress them for 400 years. Ano to? Sino to? Israel, Israel and Egypt. Israel and Egypt. In Egypt. Another, another, another answer please. Yes, you are. Uh, class, sino pa? Genesis 15, verse 13. The Jew. Yes, you are. Yes, you Ano? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Ano ang sagot? Sabat sabi, oppress them 400 years. Your seed. Jewish. Alam ba rin yung... Ang pinatutungkol dito ay hindi lamang ang children of Israel because the scripture is very clear na yung mga theological doctrines and teachings ay inaccurate pagdating sa scripture na ito because God is referring Abraham's seed first to Isaac. Hmm. Isaac. Si Isaac has been a stranger in in uh, Gerar, in the land of the Philistine, at pagkatapos si Yaakov, yung anak niya, yung anak ni Isaac, si Yaakov, was also a stranger in the land. At yung children of Jacob, the children of Israel, ay na-enslave doon sa Egypt sa matagal na panahon for a total of 400 years. But we cannot say that the children of Israel had been there in Egypt as slaves for 400 years. That is not scriptural. And that is not what Genesis 15 is saying. What Genesis 15 is saying is from the time of the seed of Abraham, which is Isaac, up to, up to Jacob, and from Jacob up to the children of Israel, Total of 400 years. Why did I say that? Because Rashi, a great commentator, a well-known, highly respected in the whole house of Israel by the name of Rashi, this is his commentary. At your seed will be strangers from the time that Isaac was born until the Israelites left Egypt was 400 years. How so? From the time of Isaac, how was born, huh? Isaac was 60 years old when Jacob was born. Okay, 60 when Jacob was born. And Jacob, he went down to Egypt and said, the days of the years of my sojourning are 130 years. Kausap niya si Pharaoh Sa scripture na ito, sabi niya, 
130 years, yung years of my journey. So if you will add 60, 60 years plus 130 years, that will equal to 190 years. So they were in Egypt 210 years, not 400 years. Kasi, kasi a total of 400 years, yung 210 in Egypt plus one, 190 years during the sojournings of Isaac and Jacob. A total of 410 years. This is very Torah. This is, this is very scripture. And this is very true. And sabi ni Rashi, now, if you should say that they were 400 years in Egypt, this is not so. Because Kehath was one of those who descended to Egypt. If you compute the years of Kehath, 133, and those of Amram, his son, 137, and the 80 years of Moses, his age when they left Egypt, you will find only 350 years. Kulang. And you must still subtract from them all the years that Kehath lived after the birth of Amram, and Amram lived after the birth of Moses. This is taken from the from Seder Olam chapter 31. This is oral Torah. So if you may allow me, so adding 5789, 5789, saan ko kinuha yung 5789? Doon sa 2029, equivalent to 5789. Okay? The last Shemitah cycle, the last Shemitah cycles to complete the Yovel, the Jubilee, will be 5789, the Gregorian pagan calendar, 2029. So if you will add 5789 to 210, it will equal to 5. 99, 5,999, which is the completion of the seven Shemitah years cycle. <clears throat> Are you there? Amen. Amen. And if you saw it, and if you were blessed, you may reset your plans and priority, and with a deep awareness of God's appointed times, learn comes preparation for the soon return of the King Messiah, Yeshua. 5999 plus one year, that will total to 6,000. 6,000 is the start of the millennial reign of our Lord and Savior Yeshua there in the city of our great king named Yerushalayim. And he will reign for a millennial reign. Pasok and papasok hanggang sa year 7,000, which is another seven, 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 which is the year of God's appointed times. I'm finished. I'm done. If you have been blessed by this message and this ministry, and if you are inspired by God to support, you may send your tithes and offerings by getting in touch with me in Messenger. Shabbat Shalom and Kol Tov. Please remember this, this message. This is recorded. You may have a copy of this message, recorded teaching, and you can just review this. And if you are blessed, kindly share it to others, that others may share it to others. Wala na tayong masyadong panahon sa kinalalagyan natin ngayon. I do believe, as the whole house of Israel, 
kahit po ang mga Orthodox Jewish are now having a preparation for the coming of Israel's Messiah for the first time. Kasi mga Orthodox, hindi pa nila tanggap ang ating Panginoong Yeshua sa kanila first time. Pero tayo mga Messianic, Messianic believers, ibig sabihin ng Messianic, we believe in our Lord and Savior Yeshua has already come for the first time and will be coming again for the second time. Whether first time or second time, both Messianic and Orthodox Jewish believers are believing that Yeshua will soon be coming again and the last Smita cycle will finish will finish on the year 2029 equivalent to 57 5789 plus 210 that will total to 59.99 and that will complete the 6,000 plan of God's creation from the time of Adam and Eve. May the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May Hashem truly give us a deep understanding that we are not just living this last of the last days, but we are being prepared by God for the soon return of King Messiah, Yeshua, our Lord. We have one week, I do believe, one week. One week means seven years. The seven years, the start of the last Smita cycle to complete. The seven times seven Shemitah cycles in order to bring about the Yovel or the year of Jubilee. I pray that you understood or will continue to be understanding this message because the Lord is coming very soon. I don't know the time. This is a disclaimer. I don't know the time and the hour, but I do believe for the glory of God, I know the appointed Moadim, the appointed times of the Lord's coming again. Again, if you have been blessed and would like to share your blessings to support this ministry as we are planning to transfer our home, we are planning to move out of this and continue to, to teach the Torah and the Tanakh and the New Covenant Scripture, one unified Jewish Word of God. We need, we need a unity in, in the body. We need your, your support because we exist purely by our cheerful faith and trust in Messiah. May Hashem bless you. Shabbat Shalom to everyone. Shabbat Shalom to everyone. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom to everyone. If you have Shabbat any question, Shalom. if you have any question you want to ask, we can uh, have some time for questions and answers. If you have, if you if you have a question, shoot your question. If there's any question. Oh, some of you are still uh, shocked. If you are still shocked, I understand. But if you are meditating on it and would like to, to, to get a video uh, recorded uh, teaching copy, by all means, uh, ilalagay natin yan sa, sa ating GC. And if you are blessed, share it to others. And others may share it to others. And then we are going to prepare. May kantang, may kantang, all my bags are packed. I'm ready to go. I'm standing here outside the door. <laughs> it's about time. Uh, after the month of Nisan, the children of Israel, no nagkaroon ng total solar eclipse, Nisan 1, Nisan 2, Nisan 3, 
na magkakaroon sa Little Egypt dyan sa Illinois 2024, I believe that that will be the mark of the Great Tribulation period. The last three and a half years. And there is when the marking of the beast will take its place. So Rick, yes. Uh, so pakipost, we... pakipost no rin yung PowerPoint presentation mo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Ajay. Yes, okay. Yeah, I will. I will. Any question? Any question? Before we go. Oh, wag na kayo ma-shock. Any question? Now, Aris, can I ask you a question? Malapit sure, ba? sure, Pastor. <laughs> Malapit ba yun? Yung ba yung St. Louis sa inyo? O St. Yes. Louis? Really? Yan yun, Pastor. Are you, aware, are yung... you aware of the Southeastern Illinois College? Not particular, kasi small college yan. Mayroon kasi dalawang malalaking college dito, yung SIUE okay. at saka yung uh, SI. Pero, yes. pero kasi parang tabulan lang yan. Kasi mayroon dalawang malalaking colleges dito na, na mga, kuhan, mga basketball powerhouse. Uh, yeah. Kaya yung maliit na college na yan, hindi yan masyadong na kuhan. Pero I recall yung uh, kung ano yan, yung uh, yung uh, solar eclipse. Yeah. Pauwi ako ng Pilipinas niyan. Uh, sabi ko hindi ko maaabutan kasi I was on the I was actually on the air nung mangyari yung solar eclipse na yan. Yeah. Nung time na yon, nandito ako, uh, paalis ako nang pauwi ng Pilipinas. Wow. Nung time na yon nung mag solar eclipse. Yeah, I I recall that yeah. I was, that was nagising ako bigla pa sa <laughs> Oh, that was 2017. And yeah, after seven I, years, it will exactly happen again. On the month of Nisan. Alam niyo ba kung ano mahalagang sa month of Nisan? The tribe of Judah, the month of Nisan was assigned to the tribe of Judah. And the tribe of Judah is where our Lord and Savior came from. He is the lion from the tribe of Judah. At siya ay namatay during the month of Nisan. During the feast of Pesach or Passover. And he was born during the month of Tishrei. And the month of Tishrei was assigned to the tribe of Ephraim. Ephraim, yung uh, alam naman natin na the 12 tribes of Israel was split in half. The northern tribe of Israel, ang tawag dyan, Ephraim, yan yung ikinalat ng Panginoon throughout the nations of the world. Take a hold of this. Napaka-importante nito. Ang ating Panginoong Yeshua, namatay din siya during the month of Nisan, pero ang Tishrei, which is assigned to the to the house of Israel, the ten tribes na nakumalat sa nations of the world ngayon, eto rin yung tribes na kung saan ay ibabalik ng Panginoon yung the great gathering. Kailan mangyayari yun? In the month of Tishrei. During the time of Sukkot or Tabernacles. Everything is right in place according to the Moadim or the Holy Feasts of Adonai. Walang maiiba. It's all there. Ang dapat lang natin gawin, we have to study and study carefully. It's all there. Yan ang malaking pagkakaiba the Jewish mindset and the Torah and the Tanakh from the teachings of the Western Gentile theologians. So from there, from there, ay uh, makikita natin dyan na walang anumang confusion na mangyayari. It's all there. It's all there. Kaya yung Shemitah na yan, napaka-importante niyan. 
Ang sabi ng Panginoon, you observe my shmita, or else if you violate my 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 shmita, I will punish you seven times greater. And then comes another shmita, and if you will still not keep it, I will still punish you another seven years. More worse punishment. And another Shemitah, if you will not observe it, I will continue to punish you for more worse seven years. So ano ba sinasabi ni Hashem? You better take heart of my Shemitah because if you will count seven Shemitah cycles, it will total to the Jubilee, the seven years and that will it, that will be the last jubilee the coming of our lord and our savior nakatapat yun doon kaya yung the, the sound of the shofar and sabi sa 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 13 to 17 it speaks not of the rapture Second Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 to 17. Please read your Bibles and you will find out that what Paul is talking about is not the rapture. He's talking about the Tekhiyat Hametim. Tekhiyat Hametim in English, it means the resurrection of the dead. The resurrection of the dead will rise up to so those who, had, who died united with Messiah, upon the sound of the shofar, the last sound of the shofar, that is the shofar hagadol, the last sound of the shofar. Ang mangyayari sa 1 Thessalonians 4, verses 13 to 17, those who are dead in Messiah shall rise first. And we who are alive, ano ibig sabihin nun? Yung bumabiyahe. Yung meron ng kibbutz galiot. In Hebrew, it is called kibbutz community galiot in the exile. In the, in the galut. Galut means diaspora, exile. The nations of the world. Yung mga tao na the house of Israel na hindi na nila kung ano ang kanilang tribe. But they have Jewish blood. And they have been scattered in the nations of the world. And God allowed it to happen so that they may share the true good news of Yeshua from the Torah and Tanakh. Because they have Jewish background. They have Torah background. The pure word of God. So magkakaroon ng kibbutz galiot sa English ay the great in gathering. The great in gathering. So, mauuna yung resurrection of the dead. Pagkatapos sasabayan ng rapture. Yun yung to those who are still alive, united with Messiah, will be gathered together and will be caught up and join with them to those who have died and resurrected and meet the Lord in the air. So, kailan mangyayari yun? Kailan mangyayari yun? Mangyayari yun bago bumalik ang ating Panginoong Yeshua at the end of the Great Tribulation period. If you will study the book of Daniel, meron kang mababasang dalawang dates doon. Met 1,290 at saka merong 1,335. Dalawa yun. Check it out doon sa book of Daniel. At makikita mo yung difference ng 1,335 and 1,290. Ang difference doon ay 45 days. 45 days. And I believe that before the, the second coming, the return of our Lord, days before, days ha, hindi weeks, hindi months, days before, I spared the prophecy of Prophet Daniel 45 days bago mag-1,335, which is 1,290 days. There is when 
the the tekiat hamitin or the resurrection of the dead will take place and the rapture will take place to those who are gathering together to those who are to those who are waiting for the coming of our lord yeshua kailan mangyayari ulit yan mangyayari yan just at the end of the great tribulation period oh my goodness i'm sorry if i if i shocked you i am so sorry uh, uh, we uh, if you want to have a special tutorial class gawin natin yan yeah uh, i just uh, we need we need our our zoom subscription kasi kung magkakaroon na tayo ng, ng two classes or three classes eh, si pastor jim yeah may not be able to accommodate us sa uh, pagpapahiram niya ng kanyang Zoom. Kaya we will be having our own subscription. Kasi uh, dalawa, tatlo na, we are going to on a full full scale teaching. If you are blessed, we are going to, to help everyone who would like to learn more of the Torah and the Tanakh and the New Covenant in one small room. Hindi ito magkalayo, ito ay magkaisa. Because it is one Jewish unified word of God. My question is, before we go, are you prepared? Are you prepared? Are you doing something to show that you are prepared for the coming of the Lord? Yung bang priorities natin ay tama na sa kanyang pagbabalik. Kaya ako'y naniniwala uh, na matatapos ang COVID, matatapos ang gulo kasi darating ang halimaw. The beast will be coming at siya magpapakita ng gilas. He will make an end. Siya, mag, siya ang gagawa ng solusyon dito sa COVID-19, dito sa mga gulo-gulong ito, dito sa effects of the pandemic, yung hardships and all. He will do something na paniniwalaan siya ng buong mundo. Kaya mapapaniwala niya ang buong mundo. That is the plan. And God will allow him to do that. But on 2024 to 2025, tapos na ang pagiging mabait niya. He will reveal himself as Satan uh, emissary. He is, he is Satan uh, possessed. He is the Antichrist. At i-announce niya na ako ang i-worship ninyo mula sa araw na ito. At iyon ay patutupad niya yung mark of the beast. I believe that will be somewhere 2025. Kasi kalagit na anong 2022, 2023, at 2029, yung gitna nun, kayo nang bahala maggawa ng math ninyo. God bless you all. Lord bless you. God bless you. If you have no more questions, God bless you. Bye. Amen. Bye -bye. Amen. No more questions. Thank you, Manny, for the good worship leading. Thank you. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Thank, thank you. 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 Hope to see you again. Yes. Thank you, Sita. God bless you. Jerry. God bless. Oh, God bless you, Pastor Jim. God bless you. Yeah. Pagaling ka pa ng gusto, Pastor Jim. 1% na lang. Oh, 1%. <laughs> God bless you. All right. Enough. Yeah. Uh, end ko na to. Pa pa hey. Pastor Jim. Yes. Pastor Jim. Uh, um, tumawag, tumawag pa ako kay, ano, kay Pastor Dan. Ay sabi po nila, wala po silang stock ngayon. So, padadala na lang daw ako. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Wala ba sila? Wala information ko. Ah, oh, naubos na siguro. Opo. Okay. Sige. Sige, Masal. Bye-bye. Thank you. Okay. Shabbat shalom. Kultuf.